Interest rates hit 6% for the first time since 2008. And in this video, I wanna talk about how that impacts the real estate market. If you were shopping in January of this year, you would have seen that the interest rate was around 3.5%. Today, it's at around 6%, and this has a fundamental impact on what buyers can afford. For example, if you've got a house that you're interested in that's $715,000, that monthly mortgage payment back in January at 3.5% would have been around $4,200. But today, at a little over 6%, that monthly mortgage payment is at around $5,400. So that's a $1,000 difference, and that just simply has a really huge impact on what you can afford. And unfortunately, it has knocked some buyers out of the market. It's caused other buyers to readjust their price point that they're shopping in. And for sellers who put their house on the market while this interest rate was inching higher and higher, they've kind of gotten caught up in this transitionary time where there's not as many buyers, there's certainly not multiple offers, and they're forced to adjust the price, as well as offer incentives to induce an offer, to induce buyers to come and take a look at the house. This means that houses are selling for less and they're sitting on the market for longer. This for the first time ever has given buyers some actual leverage in the buying process. This is also why I've said in previous videos why I think that this is the single best opportunity for buyers to purchase a house in the last couple of years. If you were buying a year ago, you would have very likely faced multiple offers and very likely had to offer over asking price. Today, you've got houses that have been sitting and buyers who are waiting for someone to come and put an offer in. And because there's not that competition there was, you can likely get something for under asking price. There's no certainty on where the real estate market will settle. A lot of this has to do with the increasing interest rate, which is tied to Federal Reserve interest rates. And if the Federal Reserve continues to hike up that interest rate, mortgage interest rates usually follow. One other factor that can have an impact is inflation and the cost of goods and materials. If things are costing more, it's cutting into that monthly budget and therefore impacting what people can afford. So if you're a seller considering putting your house on the market, I would go ultra conservative with what you put your house on the market for because things have changed. If you're a buyer considering getting into this market, this is your time to strike now. This is for the first time, you may be able to get something for under asking price and on your terms. What are your thoughts for those that are watching? Where's the real estate market headed? I'd love to read your comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. This is Sean Mitchell, Denver Metro Area Compass Agent, and I'll catch everyone on the next video.